This video is going to show you a lot of things that you didn't know you could do in OneNote. Uh, number one, a transparent background. Uh, number two, we're going to type end right inside of the rule lines on the page so everything fits really nicely. We're going to do some really cool things here. So watch all the way to the end. If you use a stylus and Windows, this is a great channel for you to subscribe to. My name is Justice Franjapani, otherwise known as Tablet Pro. And let's go ahead and get started. So over here, this is the artist pad. Artist pad from Tablet Pro. Now we're going to expand it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap right here. Website. We're going to go right down here. And we're going to start using speech to text with Cortana. Now I can't see the screen as well as I want, so we're going to change the transparency. And we're back to regular OneNote here. So let's say we want to take this text right here, artist pad. So I'm going to use the lasso tool right here. We're going to select this text and we're going to change the color. So let's make it blue. Okay, now what we're going to do, we're going to undo that. And what we're going to do is we're going to do ink to text. We're going to convert this to text. Okay, so that's great, but this is not fit with the text that we already have on the screen. And being slightly OCD, I would like it to. So what we're going to do is we're going to select this text here. We're going to hit shift copy. Now we're going to go right up here. We're going to select this text right here and we're going to do shift paste. Now, what you can see is we have gotten that text to fit the same style, font, and color as what we had right down here. So we copied the font style. Now, if I don't see this moving the way I want, I can press Alt. And with Alt pressed, I can actually drag this without it snapping and put it exactly where I want. So let's take a minute and talk about the rule lines. So I have here view, I have rule lines. I actually have them set to always create pages with rule lines. I have these set to narrow. So this right here is college, this is narrow. And uh, let's go ahead and we're gonna go to settings here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that our font is the font that fits inside of here. This is Calibri 11. Uh, you can also choose Microsoft's own uh, Yahe, Yahe 18, and then change that to college ruled, and that will fit in there nicely, if I'm remembering correctly. So Calibri 11 is really a nice looking font. Okay, so we have uh, a few more things that I want to show you, and I want to keep this video intentionally brief. Uh, I will have more information on this later, but let's do a couple more things. So I want to actually edit some text using my stylus and the artist pad over here. We're gonna edit text without a keyboard. This has been a huge pain in the butt. Now, if you're doing a long document, I highly recommend using Microsoft Word. It is phenomenal. Check out the video I have on the action pen inside of Microsoft Word for dictation. Super, super cool, really useful, and wildly different than anything that we've seen in the last 20 years in dictation. Actually, works really well, is fun. There's not a big learning curve. So check that video out. I'll put the link in the description. Okay, so here, let's do this. We're going to select the word screen and we're going to tap on it on our finger, double tap on it to select it. And we're going to press this button right down here, change case. And you're gonna notice that this is going to select the entire word and change it from lowercase to sentence case, which means the first letter, to uppercase. Really useful because there's a lot of times if I'm writing or I'm doing something, I can't get it to uh, do that without having to go into the touch keyboard and it is a big pain in the butt. Okay, so let's go right here. We're going to actually speak some text that won't be picked up with uh, Cortana normally. We'll spell it wrong. This is gonna be my last name, by the way. 
F-R-A-N-G-I-P-A-N-E. Okay, so this is problematic because all of that is uppercase, right? But since we have this new shortcut, we can change it quickly to sentence case and we're set and we can move on. So now I have over here, I have a bunch of punctuation. So I can tap here, comma, space, and start talking again. And this is going to allow me to do some really fast typing inside of OneNote, which is really useful. And I find that I can do this a whole lot faster than handwriting in most situations. Isn't that nice? So nice. So here we've gone through how to change and match our handwritten text with our notes. So for handwriting something and we want to convert it into a printable document that looks good, I I don't have a problem reading someone's handwritten notes with uh, text intermingled. Um, I, but for some reason, if you submit it anywhere, they think you are a child. <laughs> so you you want to be able to convert your handwritten notes because let's face it, we remember things better. It's more enjoyable in a lot of situations just to take your time expressing and converting your thoughts into words, not necessarily typing. So better retention is more enjoyable, uh, but we still need to convert it into something printable. Okay, so we've gone into converting speech to text, then converting that text to different and then converting the ink to text, and then changing that text into the same uh, font and style as the rest of our document. Okay, so let's do a really quick, and this is going to require a second video. So again, subscribe so you get notified when I uh, get this video out. We're gonna talk about using speech to text expansion. This is something that I've never done a video before on and something I have never seen anyone do a video on before. So I think this is really useful and just figured this out just a few days ago. So we're going to tap the yellow microphone icon, which by the way, shows what the program is called and what we're doing. Speech to text expansion. Email. website and here we've got arrow keys so you can go down and up and shift up and delete or backspace and delete so that you can delete different sections uh, i like this okay so if you're note taking this is really useful because uh, certain things, if you're using a stylus, they take forever to write down. And if you're converting them, it doesn't always work well. So you can do that. I'll show you that in another video. Now, let's say we're in an online class. And we're taking notes. Trying to do that on a single screen uh, is super annoying. So <laughs> here's what I do. I really like this process. I'm actually going to make OneNote transparent and I'm going to start my class or the video. If I'm watching a video, no the play button. Work on the design for repair team at Microsoft. Today we're going to be dissembling the new Surface Laptop Studio and I'll... So let's say that's what uh, we're watching and then I want to uh, write a few things down. Great. We scroll up. I'll show you how to get everything apart. Now, I'm gonna... Start the video. That's really cool. Let's say we want to take a screen grab of what he's talking about. We'll go right here and let's take a nice little screen grab. And then we're going to hop back over to OneNote and we can paste it right here. We've got a giant image here, but we can bring this up and put it right here just like that. Okay, and we can take these, go ink to text, and then uh, just select this whole thing. And again, shift plus paste. And that's going to keep track of what we had selected before. If you need a trackpad in order to grab something, you can press this button right here in the middle of the arrows like this. 
move the arrows this way, shift lets you select that same thing, slower, quicker. Okay, this is really cool. This is a big deal. So I've been looking at doing a full course on OneNote, uh, just note taking, advanced features, how to get the most out of OneNote. This is going to be a very different course than anything that you've seen someone else do, as you can see from this video right here. There's a whole lot of content. If this is something you're interested in, I thought about putting the course somewhere else, um, but I don't like the idea of sending people away somewhere else. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this to the member area of my channel. It's $3.99. You can pay it once and then unsubscribe. That's really cheap for this course. And it'll hold your hand through the process of getting everything set up so that you can fly through note taking so you can remember things better. And it, it will be available there for members. If you want this artist pad that I have on the left, download Tablet Pro from tabletpro.com slash install. And uh, you can find this preset, this one right here. This is called OneNote Advanced. This is built specifically for the Surface Laptop Studio, but you can use it, most of the things you can use. Just go to pen and online presets and you'll find it right in there. Preset OneNote 2400 by 16 advanced. If you guys have questions or comments or you wanna see more, put it in the comment section below. Give me a thumbs up on this video. And if you really, really liked it, a super thanks is always appreciated. All right, until next time, stay creative and have a wonderful day.